Hey guys and welcome to a new video of Bitcoin Edge. Today we'll take another look into the charts. And this is how the markets closed. The S&P was down, the Dixie was up, Nasdaq down as well. And that is important for Bitcoin. Why is that important? Well, here we had the 2017 bull market. Here the current one. And we can see, you know, as soon as Bitcoin moons, bull market, everything. Um, it is happening because the dollar is going down or vice versa. I don't know. <laughs> um, so, I mean, right now we're bouncing very bottomy candle over here on the weekly and um, followed up by a big green candle. This is the trend line we need to stay under. This this blue one over here. Um, if you break it, you know, next resistance will be over here. It's very possible we come back for a dead cat bounce or a legit bounce. Um, I hope a dead cat bounce and we dump from here. Um, if it doesn't, you know, that will be bad for Bitcoin. Uh, right now, it seems very strong and it seems, I think, will go over here. So that is something we need to keep in mind, you know. Um, if that happens, the um, S&P 500 will see a correction and Bitcoin will see a correction as well. Right now is the weekend and um, nobody's thinking about that. So we pump. We pump, we pump, we pump. And this is the current view, you know, I have on Bitcoin. Uh, a low over here, a low over here, a low over here, a low over here. That means higher lows, but also lower highs. A high over here, a high over here. Um, and yeah, as soon as the first one breaks, I would say, if this one breaks, we go visit these lows. If this one breaks, we go to the all-time high. Simple as that. Um, I'm quite bullish. Um, we saw this dump and fundings and premiums completely reset. We see that over here, completely went low in the indicator over here. Um, so yeah, that is bullish. We can take a look at the funding and funding indicators like the funding. Um, I mean, the current one still on BitMEX is very low, but they're rising again, especially on, on Bybit and uh, yeah, the predicted one on uh, BitMEX as well. Ethereum being a real, real chat over here broke this high over here this previous high broke this trend line as well right now to this top over here if we break this one it is well i would say this year's high and after that you know it's the all-time high let me know what you guys think is the all-time high for uh ethereum because there was an all-time high on coinbase which was a lot higher than uh, the one on bitstamp and so on um ethereum bdc broke out as well we're on the daily right now i expect we go to last year's high and over here you know we can see a clear breakout i don't know i know the, the, the chart is a bit messy but they made a higher high compared to this one so that's very good you know um they will go for these ones pretty simple we'll go to new highs eve has been surprising very well uh, i covered it yesterday and the day before and i cobbled it a couple times this week looking over here as well three days ago is looking very good um these are the last three days yesterday it was just at 150 dollars i mean wow very nice ave and uh, i expect well at least to go to 400 or 500 dollars so very good um cardano made um a breakout uh yearly highs very good and almost to the all-time high over here so cardano is one of the rare uh, I would say altcoins that really, um, really uh, is pumping hard. Most, uh, I would say most um, old altcoins, you know, are doing very bad and have a lot of uh, bag holders, like people who bought it over here and they're just not ready to sell it. Just keep holding it. But the thing is, that's why most of these old altcoins keep dumping, you know, because uh, people have so much, you know, and they're ready to sell socials very good looking a lot of new interest from retail on crypto extremely bullish that is very bullish um funding rates you know can go a lot higher they're still good still good for more upside um yeah make sure to subscribe leave a like leave a comment let me know what you want to know which coins to cover uh, i'm bullish on everything right now only thing i'm worried about is the dixie the Dixie strength, if this goes over here, you know, we will see corrections in crypto. If it if it isn't the case, you know, we go we go for all-time highs. Charts are looking all bullish. Um, well, maybe a little bit overextended on the daily, 
but longer term very bullish um, and yeah that's about it if you want to trade with some leverage like i do make sure you sign up with this link over here uh, you get 20 percent discounts on your trading fees also in the rewards hub if you use this code uh, and you deposit some uh, you get a nice well call it cashback or whatever you get up to 500 dollars plus a uh, hundred dollars and in total you know 620 dollars if you deposit so make sure to use this link it's in the video description as well use the code um, in the well you just first sign up you go to rewards hub and there you fill in jackpot you get money free money so make sure to do that um, everything's looking bullish we're consolidating still for bitcoin uh, but everything else looks very good um, it's either like i said you know it's just which one do we tap first this one or this one uh, and that will decide the next well the next move for bitcoin right now i'm very bullish uh, only thing on my mind is the dixie so that's about it if you have questions if you want me to cover a coin let me know in the comments i'm always happy to hear